USRA factory stocks. Rick Murray in that number eight on the pole position. Former champion here in the Buckmeyer Motorsports Limited Modified Division. And the 74 of Kesson Haslip. Here we go, green flag. Rick Murray. And that number eight out in front, Kevin Haslip in the 74 running in second. Keith Jackson in that number 25 runs in third. Rick Murray continues to lead at number eight. As it's really the race for third spot. The 17 of Tommy Davis Jr. Alongside the 25 of Keith Jackson. As they race down the back straightaway. Out in front, the eight of Rick Murray. He's got about a five car length advantage over Kevin Haslip in the number 74. Keith Jackson still hanging on to that third spot. Fighting hard on the outside with your point leader, the 17, of Tommy Davis Jr. Tommy Davis Jr. now slides into fourth. Here comes the 6M of Jeff Jones. You want to put yourself in a position to be towards the front, try to finish in that top four in the features. So that way you lock in for tomorrow night. White flag in the air, white flag in the air. One more time around Devil's Bowl Speedway. Rick Murray off turn number four. Checker flag in the air for the number eight of Rick Murray. Second spot going to the 74 of Kevin Haslett. Keith Jackson finishes in third in that number 25. Tommy Davis Jr. in that number 17 finishes in fourth with the 6M of Jeff Jones rounding out the top five in heat race number one. Heat race number two for your factory stocks. Rolling out. We are racing heat race number two, USRA factory stocks. Nose to tail, off turn number four, down the front straightaway. The K-13 to Shane King leads him. In that second spot, our track champion here at Devil's Bowl Speedway, three years in a row, challenges for the lead down the back straightaway, right on the back bumper of Shane King in that K-13 as it going to turn number three. McKinley down on the bottom. Trying to pull alongside the K-13, nothing doing. Kinley, of course, winner last week here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. He's notched two wins on the season in that 71M. As Brett Jensen at 123 also tapping on the back bumper of the 71M saying, hey, I'm right here. Jensen to the outside. Trying to pick up that second spot. Side by side for second as they go down the back straightaway. McKinley on the inside in the 71. Jensen on the outside in the 123. McKinley with a preferred line off turn number four down to the inside. They swap position down to the inside. The 123 of Brett Jensen. Uh, maybe a little tap, but now challenging for the lead. McKinley said, hey, I got to get out of here. So he goes to the point. The K-13 to Shane King. He might give up second as well, he does. Might give up third with a white flag in the air. The K-13 
McKinley now. Gives a little tap from the 123. He's right there on the back bumper. Let's see what happens over here in turn three and four. Who's going to win this one? McKinley down on the bottom side of the racetrack. Can the 123 of Brett Jensen get there? Doesn't look like it. The 71M of Tommy McKinley is going to win. Heat race number two, Brett Jensen is going to finish in second. Dustin Choate comes home in third. Shane Keen fourth. And Brendan Marshall rounds out the top five in heat race number two. Steven Ashcraft, and that number 56 leads him on that first lap. Thomas Blackwell dives to the inside, picks up the second spot from the five car of Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams now goes to third with a 72 of Bryce Allen running in fourth. Six lap heat races, six lap heat races. Thomas Blackwell. Right on the back bumper of Steven Ashcraft in that number 56. Might have overshot the turn over there in turn number two. Fell back a couple of car lengths. Now working on three, coming off turn number four. The 56 of Steven Ashcraft. Two to go here in heat race number one for your Buckmeyer Motorsports USRA Limited Modifieds. Blackwell once again kind of dancing through that turn a little bit, getting a little sideways, losing a little bit of ground to the 56 of Ashcraft. Ashcraft this time by, he'll be looking at the white flag as they come off turn number four. White flag in the air for Steven Ashcraft in the number 56. Thomas Blackwell continues to run in second. Brandon Williams about eight car lengths back to third. And then of course, Bryce Allen in that number 72 in fourth. And Robert McCutcheon in the 77M rounding out the top five. Here we go, checker flag. Your winner, the 56, is Stephen Ashcraft. Thomas Blackwell finishes in second, Brandon Williams third, Bryce Allen fourth, and Robert McCutcheon rounds out the top five. Here we go, looking for the side-by-side -side start coming off turn number four. We got it, green flag in there. Two, three, wide chase. Raymond taking a peek to the outside, already up to second, down the back straightaway. McMacken in the 41 JR out in front, but that number one stalking him hard, coming off turn number four, goes down to the inside, side by side for the lead as they go into turn number one. McMacken drifts up the racetrack. What? Up in smoke. We lose Chris Mallard out of Mesquite. And that 51 triple X off the track, up in smoke. Chase Raymond. He's our point leader in the Buckmeyer Motorsports USRA Limited Modifieds. He's been torn down. And he continues to have a great season here at Devils Bowl in the 2020 race season. Down on the bottom side of the racetrack, up to second, all the way from the back of the field, the 20D, that's Rowdy Day, up to second in that 20D. Two laps to go, two laps to go. Seth McMacken falls to third. With the 67 of Matt Godswick fourth, and Harry Hironis rounding out the top five. White flag in the air, white flag in the air.
Chase Raymond in that number one using the center groove here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. You can kind of see where that cushion is. It's kind of pushed way down the racetrack right now. But here he is, checkered flag, your winner, the number one, Chase Raymond. Rowdy Day in that 20D finishes in second spot. Third goes to the 41 JR of Seth McMacken. Fourth, the 87 of Matt Goswick in rounding, or excuse me, the 67 of Matt Goswick in rounding out the top five, the 92 car of Harry Hironis. Cody Smith has the early lead here in heat race number three. Eric Luttrell in that number 11 car. Oh, watch out. Jeff McGibney goes around. Whatever that problem was for him in the hot lap session, obviously you got to take care of. He's back there on the track. We had to push him back to the trailer after the hot lap session. Eric Luttrell trying to reel in Cody Smith. And that number 18 as the 155 of James Wandershed runs in third. And Josh Graham in that 15 car runs fourth with David Jackson in the number 14 rounding out the top five. And then Jeff McGibney there in sixth. Flag in the air for Cody Smith. Keeps it pinned down on the bottom side of the racetrack. Coming off turn number four, checker flag in the air. Your winner, the 18S, Cody Smith. Second spot going to Eric Luttrell in the number 11. Our pole sitter, James Wandershed, and that number 155 winds up in third. Josh Graham in the 15 is fourth. And rounding out the top five, it's David Jackson in that number 14. That's the way they wind up. Heat race number three for your Buckmeyer Motorsports USRA Limited Modified. Green flag in the air. Wally Beatty around over here in turn number one. He keeps it going up. Oh, he stalls it out in that number 75. So this is gonna get interesting. Here we go, Pepper Kirkendall in that number 33. He's led all the laps, green flag out. 25C, Tommy Davis Jr., last year's track champion here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. Right behind him in second. Kenneth three in the 36, running in third.
to go, two laps to go. For the 33 of Pepper Kirkendall. Tommy Davis Jr. in the 25C in second. Kenneth Reed in the 36th third. White flag in the air, white flag in the air. Whoa, little hood coming off on the front straightaway. As the 25C diving to the outside hard for the lead, coming off turn number four, checker flag in the air, your winner, Pepper Kirkendall. The 25C, Tommy Davis Jr. finished in his second, Kenneth Reed in the 36, comes home in third. Stephen Murrow in fourth in that number 48, and Mark Greiner in that number 93 finishes, rounds out the top five. So clear that hood. Green flag in the air. Here we go. White horse tuning down to USRA modified. Oh, little beating and banging. The 28B getting into the side of the 8C of Kobe O'Neill. As the 88 Triple X of Clyde Dunn Jr. out in front. You let him start on the pole position, you're already in trouble. Problems. Whoa! That's the skipper, Skipper O'Neill, and the number eight car getting a little sideways. And now the 28B of Wendell Bolden. Trying to, oh, watch out! Oh! Flag out. Clyde Dunn Jr. continues to lead. Wendell Bolden right there in second. Junior Styles in the 316 in third. The skipper, Skip O'Neill, in fourth. As it's a challenge for the lead down here in turn number one. Wendell Bolden down to the inside. He kind of hits that little black part where it's getting a little bit dry, but he's still right there on the back bumper of the 88 as they go into turn number three. Clyde Dunn Jr. up top. Wendell Bolden down the bottom side of the racetrack. Nose to tail coming off turn four. Down the front straightaway. Wendell Bolden trying to wrestle the lead away from the 88 of Clyde Dunn Jr. Once again, the 88 leads him. Wendell Bolden down to the inside. Now pulls alongside. Got a great run coming off of two. Might have touched just a hair coming off turn number two. Wendell Bolden now with a slight advantage going into three. Wendell Bolden, new leader, drifts up the racetrack. Here comes Clyde Dunn Jr. back on his back bumper. Both cars now on the top side of the racetrack. Wendell Bolden leads it. Clyde Dunn Jr. in second. And that hood on the 28B coming up. As now Clyde Dunn Jr. dives down to the bottom side of the racetrack with the white flag in the air. They'll be looking at the checker flag this time coming off turn number four. Bolden's hood on the number 28B in the air, but that's not going to slow him down. He's your winner, the 28B of Wendell Bolden. Second spot going to Clyde Dunn Jr. in the 88 Triple X. Third, the 316 of Junior Styles. And fourth, the number eight of Skip O'Neill. Ah, uh, that's not going to fly. Or is it going to fly? I guess it's going to fly. Not sure what happened on that start. Looked like somebody brake checked coming off turn number four. But Kevin Rutherford, and that number nine, took full advantage. 
he's all the way to the point with the 45 car of Frank Rose running in second, Kyle Cave third, Kyle Taylor fourth, and the 75 and the 128 of John Henry rounded out the top five. And not making the call is the 45J of Michael Jackson. John Henry trying to get back to the pit area in that 128. We'll see if we can make it. Nope. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Back underway. He raced number two with Kevin Rutherford in that number nine out in front. Frank Rose in that number 45 running in second. Kyle Cave off the track over in turn number two. Gets a little sideways. He's back out on the track. A little puff of smoke. Looks like a little tire rub maybe happening on the 45 of Frank Rose. Problems for the 128 around over here in turn number one and two. Let's see if he gets it fired back up. Caution on the speedway. underway here in heat race number two. Kevin Rutherford pretty much picking up where he left off before the caution came out. Frank Rose once again right there in second. Kyle Cave in that number 15 runs in third. And the 128 of John Henry runs in fourth. Two laps, two laps to go. Heat race number two. Wide horse tuning and dyno USRA modifieds. Off turn number four, checkered flag, your winner, the nine of Kevin Rutherford. Second spot going to the 45 of Frank Rose, third the 15 of Kyle Cave, and the 128 of John Henry finishes in fourth. And the 75 of Kyle Taylor will be scored in the fifth position. Here we go, looking for the side-by-side -side start coming off turn number four. We got it. Green flag in the air. Oh, watch out. Stacking them up over here in turn number one. The 64 car of Casey Fowler coming to a stop. Heat race number three, wide horse tuning and dyno USRA modifieds. The 82 of Max Eddie Thomas now moved up to that front row pole position as Casey Fowler got involved in that first caution. He goes to the back, green flag out. Side by side for the lead. Max Eddie Thomas down to the inside and that number 82 outside the 12 car of Johnny Philpott Jr. Putting the slide job on hard. Coming off turn number four, he's got it. Max Eddie Thomas to the point. Johnny Philpott Jr. in second. Doug Burns in the 32 runs in third. Philpott not done. As a 64 car has a problem coming off turn number two. Drifts high, but he's still under power.
Max Eddie Thomas. About a two car length advantage over the 12. Problems are once again over here in turn number two. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Underway once again here in heat race number three. Max Eddie Thomas at the point, right there with him. Alongside, going into turn number three is Johnny Philpott Jr. in that number 12. Two grooves. We got the top groove and then we got the bottom groove. Max Eddie now moves down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Over in one and two, goes through the center over here in three and four. Johnny Philpott Jr. goes down to the bottom, coming off turn number four. Still about a three car length advantage for Max Eddie Thomas. Casey Fowler continues to hang on to third. And that 64 and the 32 of Doug Burns is fourth. Two laps to go, two laps to go. White flag in the air for the 82 of Max Eddie Thomas. Two car race as they go into turn number three. Off turn number four. Your winner, the 82 car of Max Eddie Thomas, finishing in second, is the 12 car of Johnny Philpott Jr. Third, just crossing the stripe, the 64 car of Casey Fowler. And in fourth, coming off turn number four, here he is, the 32 car, that's Doug Burns. That's how they finish up heat race number three. For your white horse tuning and dyno, USRA Modifieds. Eight lap, be featured. Oh, watch out! Cars getting together over there in turn number four. We got one rolling down the racetrack, trying to get off the track. And does, that right front looks like it's seen its better days. So it is not done. Mark Griner, you can see that right front on the 93 car. Back under power. That track getting nice and slick over there in turn number one. You can see that little black mark getting a little wider, getting a little darker. Going to make for some great racing coming up in the feature events. Making for some great racing right here in the B feature. Three wide coming off turn number two. Problems for Jeff McGibney. He goes around and you can just see it when you hit that spot and you go around as Harry Hironas in the 92 out in front with Wally Beatty who was in that caution last week's feature winner challenging for the lead over here in turn number two he's got it 
The 92 drops to second, Thomas Blackwell in third. And in that fourth and final transfer spot, that is the 47 car of Blake Hazlitt. Thomas Blackwell now up to second. Harry Hironis goes to third. Blake Haslip in fourth. Right now on the outside looking in is the 21 of Kenneth Shepard and the 14 of David Jackson. Two laps, two laps to go. White flag in the air, white flag in the air. Checkered flag, your winner, the 75 car of Wally Beatty. Second spot going to the 15B of Thomas Blackwell. Third, the 92 of Harry Hironis, and fourth, the 47 of Blake Hazlitt. Those top four, they'll transfer to the feature here tonight at Devil's Bowl Speedway. So three features coming up. Looking for the side-by-side -side start coming off turn number four. Here we go. Brett Jensen in the 123. Has the early lead. Coming off turn number four. Tommy McKinley right there pulls alongside. They get, they beat in vain just a little bit. Tommy Davis Jr. also getting in the mix. Watch out, the 71 goes around. Ho! Oh, it looks like he just hit that slick spot. Over there in turn number one. It's so our pole setter. One lap down. Tommy Davis Jr. in that number 17 taking a peek to the outside of the 123. Nothing doing. Brent Jensen hanging on to the top spot. Kevin Haslip in that number 74, right there. Dive down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Coming off turn number four down the front straightaway. Brett Jensen in the 123, the 74, Kevin Haslip. Tommy Davis Jr. in the number 17 in third. Nobody's shaking loose here. Brett Jensen not walking away with this one with Kevin Haslip within a car length. As they stick it to the bottom side of the racetrack. Coming off turn number four. Rick Murray in that number eight. Oh, he gets in the slick stuff and goes around. The action corner, action corner, turn two. Brett Jensen protecting the bottom. He's saying, hey, I'll give you that hole outside if you want to try to go around. Now opening up about a three car length advantage over Tommy Davis Jr., your point leader in this division, in the number 17. Kevin Haslip now going to third. Dustin Choate in that 85X running in fourth. Used to seeing him in the number 62 running in the 85X. Brett Jensen got on the brakes pretty hard trying to set the car up over there between three and four. You could see the car nosedive when he hit the brake. Caution on the speedway. Top of turn number two, we got a car off the track.
Seven laps down. Getting crowded up front for Jensen. Haslip on the outside trying to make it stick. It doesn't. Once again, taking a peek to the outside. Brent Jensen protecting the bottom side of the racetrack in the 123. Kevin Haslip trying to use that outside to get around. Just not as quick over there in turn number one and two as it is right over here in three and four. This time the 123 has to get on the binders again. Haslip taking a peek to the outside of the 123. He's got a better run this time. Falls alongside the 17 of Tommy Davis Jr. Now the 23 of Don Jensen also getting into the mix as Haslip goes to the top side of the racetrack. Haslip using the top side. Everybody else on the bottom. But it looks like that top side starting to come in as Rick Murray going around over here in turn number two. This time Haslip he might have something for him for the leader coming off turn number four. Side by side for that lead. And they're going to turn number one. Kevin Haslip, a little slower down here. He falls back. I thought I saw that top group coming in down here in turns number one and two, but definitely coming in down in here in three and four. But once again, top three. Head into turn number one. Jensen still hanging on to it. Tommy Davis Jr. right there in the 17 and second. Kevin Haslip now falls to third. Don Jensen in fourth. So you got teammates in four, first and fourth. As these four cars also want to lock themselves into the feature for tomorrow night. Here's Jensen, Haslip still working that top side, now falls to fourth. Dustin Choate in that 85X, he's on the outside looking in. White flag in the air, one more time around Devil's Bowl Speedway. Coming off turn number four, checkered flag in the air. Your winner, the one, two, three of Don Jensen. Finishing in second. The number 17 of Tommy Davis Jr. Third, gonna be the 23 of Don Jensen and fourth, the 74 of Kevin Haslip. Those are your top four that'll get locked into the feature tomorrow night as long as they pass Tech here tonight at Devil's Bowl Speedway. And on the outside looking in, your fifth place finisher, the 85X of Dustin Choate. Looking for the side-by-side -side start turn off turn number four. Here we go. Everybody getting through the action turn, turn number two. As it's a race for the top spot, the number one of Chase Raymond and the 56 of Stephen Ashcraft going after it. And the 18S of Cody Smith getting into the mix, caution on the speedway, the 71 or the 77 around on the front straightaway. So the 77M, Robert McCutcheon. Pointed in the wrong direction. Let's see if he can get it fired back up. I don't know how hard he hit the wall, but it looks pretty good. It looks like he might be able to continue in that 77, a little bit of body damage. Green flag out. Go 
with E. Smith in that 18S, in that silver car out in front. Chase Raymond, oh, watch out. The 20D and the 56 getting together over there between turn number one and two. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. The 72 around. Bryce Allen out of Terrell and that number 72. wide coming off turn number two for that four spot Eric Luttrell and that number 11 on the move trying to get by the 20D of Rowdy Day Pepper Kirkendall down to the inside trying to challenge for that four spot He's got it as they come off turn number four. Now to the inside of the 20D of Rowdy Day. Cody Smith out in front. And Pepper Kirkendall has found something in that number 33. He has found a groove on this racetrack. He's up to third. Here comes Pepper Kirkendall in the number 33. Chase Raymond goes around over here in turn number one and two. Oh my! Caution on the speedway, caution on the speedway. Oh my, that number one. And that slick spot, when you hit it, you can see it from here, that little black streak that's going right between the bottom and the top of turn number one. When you hit it, you lose traction and you just go around. So Chase Raymond was looking at one of those transfer positions. Now he's looking at the rest of the field from, from the back of the field. Here we go. Lights out. Oh, the action turn once again. Wow. The 155 and the number one. So the number one involved in the second caution, he takes it to the pit area. Green flag out. Watch out now, some action going on over here in three and four. Whoa, whoa, right into the tractor tire. The number five. A Brandon Williams caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Green flag out. So Cody Smith, once again, opens up about a four car length advantage, but here comes Pepper Kirkendall in that number 33. Up to second, Tommy Davis Jr. running in third, Rowdy Day in the 20D fourth. Eric Luttrell in the number 11, rounds out the top five in six, a 75 car. That's Wally Beatty, seventh, the number 15, Thomas Blackwell. Taking a peek down to the inside, the 25C. Trying to get by the 33. He's got it. Kirkendall goes to third. 
Rowdy Day in fourth. Eric Luttrell right there in the number 11. Trying to put himself in the top four. Right now he's on the outside looking in. Takes a peek to the inside. Whoa. Rubbing his racing coming off turn number four. Eric Luttrell once again taking a peek to the inside of the 20D for that fourth and final transfer spot. Rowdy Day pushes up the racetrack. The 11 car goes by. He's up to fourth. Rowdy Day to fifth. Wally Beatty in sixth. Wally Beatty now down to the inside of Eric Luttrell as Rowdy Day goes to the outside. Caution on the speedway. The action turn gets another one. Oh, we're in turn two. Here we go, trying to crowd the leader. Green flag out. Wally Beatty trying to make the move to the inside. He's up to fifth. Now trying to go for fourth down to the inside of the 20D of Rowdy Day. He's got it. Wally Beatty now on the move. Three wide, a little further back in the field. That's Thomas Blackwell now up to sixth. Cody Smith out in front. Tommy Davis Jr. in the 25C running in second. Pepper Kirkendall in third. Wally Beatty in the 75 running fourth. Challenge for the lead. Here we go. Going into turn number three. Cody Smith opens the door just a hair for the 25C of Tommy Davis Jr. with two to go, two to go. Cody Smith. White flag in the air, white flag in the air. Down the back straightaway, the 18S of Cody Smith. Once again, a hard charge from the 25C of Tommy Davis Jr. Checkered flag! Your winner, the 18S of Cody Smith. Second spot going to the 25C of Tommy Davis Jr. Pepper Kirkendall in the 33 comes home in third. And fourth spot, the number 75 of Wally Beatty. Here he is, Devil's Bowl Speedway, the 18S of Cody Smith. Here's your second place finisher, Tommy Davis Jr. Pepper Kirkendall in the number 33 is third, and the 75 of Wally Beatty is fourth. They will lock into the feature for tomorrow night's event here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. Rounding out the top five, it was Rowdy Day. Sixth spot goes to the 15B of Thomas Blackwell. Seventh is Eric Luttrell in the number 11, and Matt Goswick in that number 67 winds up finishing eighth tonight here at Devil's Bowl Speedway in your Buckmeyer Motorsports USRA Limited Mods. Looking for the tur turn four side by side start between the 28 and the number nine. Here we go. Two, three wide. Already up to four spot, the 88 of Clyde Dunn Jr. Doesn't look like he's done yet. Trying to pick up that second spot coming off turn number four. Nothing doing. Junior Styles hangs on to it in the 316. Problems over here in turn number one. We got one around. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Green flag.
Wendell Bolden, three wide, four wide for a second, coming off turn number two. As Max Eddie Thomas now up to third in the number 82. Problems for Johnny Philpott Jr. in that number 12. Looks like a right rear flat on the number 12 of Johnny Philpott Jr. Wendell Bolden. In the lead, but feeling the pressure from the 88 of Clyde Dunn Jr. He goes to the top side of the racetrack. Over here in turns number one and two. Now it comes down to the bottom. Wendell pushes up the racetrack, opens the door for the 88 of Clyde Dunn Jr. coming off turn number four. Wendell Bolden once again pins it down to the bottom side of the racetrack. We got two grooves here at Devil's Bowl Speedway and Max Eddie Thomas right there in third trying to reel the top two in. Max Eddie, of course, the track champion here last year at Devil's Bowl Speedway. But we've got the two that have been winning the races here this year at Devil's Bowl Speedway going after it for the lead. Some lap traffic starting to play a part in this one as they go into turn number three and now coming off turn number four. Halfway through, halfway through. Wendell Bolden pins it down on the bottom side of the racetrack, trying to clear some of the lap traffic. Clears the 45 of Frank Rose. Now the number 128. He's got him. Clyde Dunn Jr. coming along. Nose to tail. First and second coming off turn number four down the front straightaway into turn number one. More lap traffic directly in front of the leader, the number 75. Now the 82X of Teske in front of the leader. He drifts up the racetrack. He gives him a little bit of racing room. Might have to get on the brakes just a hair. Coming off turn number four, he's right there. Dives down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Oh, it's going to get interesting now. Teske down on the bottom, right in front of the leader. Clyde Dunn Jr. on the outside, the 28. Clyde Dunn goes high on the racetrack. He might make the move coming off turn number four. Side by side for the lead coming down the front straightaway. Into turn number one. Bolden once again goes to the bottom. Clyde Dunn Jr. to the top. He's got a run on the outside. Bolden pins it down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Clyde Dunn Jr. now your leader coming off turn four. Now Wendell Bolden goes to the top side of the racetrack trying to find maybe a little bit of bite up there. Nothing doing. Clyde Dunn. Now your leader, but here's some more lap traffic right in front of the leaders. As they work off turn number four down the front straightaway, that's the 15 of Kyle Cave putting him a lap down. And now Wendell Bolden searching for a little moisture up there on the top side of the racetrack. Nothing doing. As Clyde Dunn Jr. goes to the outside. Picking him off. Max Eddie Thomas continues to run in third. Fourth, the eight car of Skip O'Neill and rounding out the top five is the nine of Kevin Rutherford. White flag in the air, white flag in the air. One more time around Devil's Bowl Speedway for the 88 Triple X of Clyde Dunn Jr. This might get a little crazy here on the last lap. Lots of lap traffic. Watch out this slow one, the number 45 of Frank Rose. Checker flag, your winner, Clyde Dunn Jr. Second spot going to the 28 B of Wendell Bolden. Third is going to be the 82 of Max Eddie Thomas. Fourth, the 8 of Skip O'Neill. And rounding out the top five is the 8C of Kobe O'Neill. So your top four lock into the feature tomorrow night here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. Here he is, race fans, the 88 car of Clyde Dunn Jr. 
Second spot, the 28B Wendell Bolden. The 82 car of Max City Thomas third, Skip O'Neill in fourth in the number eight. So those are your top four that transferred directly to the feature tomorrow night here at Devil's Bowl.